I already walked too much and it is too hot. Wow, this room is nice. It is definitely a little bit bigger. You come to the Philippines around this time, get ready. This heat in the Philippines, man, it just, it hits different for sure. Good morning from Manila, Philippines. Just in case you do not know this, I live in Thailand, but I am here in the Philippines for mainly two reasons. Number one, I got a follow-up appointments, medical appointments for my knee. I had surgery about a year ago here in the Philippines. So I got follow-ups on that. And I also have a VA appointment. Manila, Philippines does have a VA clinic. I went there on Monday, I have my, uh, I get seen by the VA. Well, now it's gonna be once a year. Before it used to be every six months, but I talked to my main care provider and she said uh, once a year is enough. So the next time I come back, it's gonna be next year. And the second reason is to get my, uh, to get a tourist visa, which is a 60 day tourist visa to Thailand. That's the second reason I am in Manila. My follow-up appointments for my knee are gonna be in Angeles City because that's where I had my knee surgery over at Clark Medical Center. So today we're gonna to be checking out of, out of this Airbnb, moving to another one. Very nice Airbnb, this one right here. I don't know how the other one is gonna be. The pictures look very nice. I will make a video of that as well so you guys can see it. But if you are interested on staying on this Airbnb, the link is gonna be in the description so you guys can check it out. Very nice room. It's like a small one bedroom apartment, couch, nice comfortable bed good shower, kitchenette, pretty spacious, you know, I like it, it's good enough, and it's a good price as well. So I was supposed to leave back to Angeles today, but the Thai embassy said that my passport is gonna be ready by tomorrow, which I wasn't expecting it to be ready by tomorrow, that's what I was supposed to leave today, and then I was gonna come back to Manila in a couple of days, pick up my passport, but, since it's gonna be ready tomorrow, I decided to stay an extra night. It is what it is, right? Just go with the flow. Anyways, I'm gonna get back to my coffee and I'll see you guys in a few seconds. Later. So we made it to the new Airbnb, but uh, it's not ready yet and it is about 1 p.m. I think it's gonna be ready by two. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a walk and find something to eat because I'm a little bit hungry. Let's see what they got around here. I don't see much, not even across the street. And this building has a couple of restaurants, but they didn't look all that great. The other place where I was staying at, there's way more restaurants, even in, inside the complex and outside the complex. I should have stayed there and eaten there and then came up here, but I didn't know. I didn't know how this looked. I didn't know what to expect. Come with me, let's explore our new home for the day. I don't see anything here. There's, there's nothing to eat here. It's, it's crazy. Not even like local spots that we can go eat. So this area where I'm at is called Manda Luyong. That is a area of Manila, Philippines. If I am not mistaken, I think over this river, that's Makati area. I already walked too much and it is too hot. I'm gonna go back to that building and wait for my Airbnb host to let me know if the room is ready. And go see one of those restaurants that I saw there. 
hopefully the food is better than what the restaurant looks like I just didn't see anything that I like on the menu on the you know how they have the menus on the wall I didn't like what it was on the walls but maybe they got a secret menu or more items in the menu whatever let's go back Ah, uh, here we go. As I was talking about, I couldn't find anything. I found this place called Pizza Nia. But they do have fried chicken. And it looks, it looks good enough. All right, let's eat here. How much I owe you? Up the bill. You don't have to pay. She said you're famous, you don't pay for food. What? No! Did you just pay for our bill? I think you did it. Are you Why not? <laughs> Why not? It's something to do. You gotta be kind, right? Be kind. That's it. Pay you forward. Next, next time you guys buy somebody a meal. Yeah, Alex Bam Bam. That's how much your bill is gonna be. Just gotta subscribe to my channel. Bam Bam. B A M B A M. No problem. All right, we are done eating. Actually, the Airbnb host just sent me a message and sent me the location. So I think I can go this way. All right, let's go that way. The girls were uh, shocked because I paid for the lunch. <laughs> Gotta be kind, right? Gotta be kind to strangers. I told them just pay it forward, buy somebody else some food, and that somebody else hopefully buy somebody else some food, and you know, they keep it going, so. And it wasn't like the bill was a ridiculous amount. It was 1,100 and like 50 pesos for those three girls, everything they ate, and my meal, so, you know. Eating out here in the Philippines can be very affordable. Same like in uh, Thailand, so, you know, it's a good thing. Let's go to this Airbnb and see, uh, see what we're working with. Oh yeah, the, ch the chicken wasn't bad at all. It was super crispy, golden crispy. It was good, not bad. I'm going around the, the street. Hopefully they got other stuff here where I can I can come down to eat later on tonight. Tonight I'm actually going to visit a different jiu-jitsu gym called Atos Jiu-Jitsu. So we made it to the Airbnb. I got my key. I think we are on the 18th floor. Let's go check out the room and then afterwards we need to go get some water, some soap, some snacks maybe. 18 there you go and it looks like we got a corner unit all right okay oh look at that welcome alexandro enjoy your stay wow too cool too nice wow this room is nice it is definitely a little bit bigger than the other room that we had before. We got a balcony, okay. The other hotel, the other Airbnb didn't have a balcony. Very nice. What is down there? I don't know, I don't know 
where I'm at. <laughs> I just I just know this is called Mandaluyong. We got a little desk. Big closet. Let's let's try the bed. How's the bed? No? It's good to go. Very nice room, I like it. Look at that. TV, big TV, table, so I can eat. Fridge, see if they got any water in here. Nope, no water. So we're, uh, so yeah, we're gonna have to go downstairs to get some water, for sure. And this kitchenette is fully equipped. So you guys can see, you can even get clean water. So yeah, this kitchen is not bad at all. You got everything you need or everything you might need. Let's see, there. We got plates, pots and pans if you wanna cook. Little hot plate. Yeah. This this Airbnb is, uh, is on point. They got everything. Not bad. Oh, look at that. They gave me a soap. So I don't, I don't need to go get some soap. Thank you very much. Nice, big. It's a big bathroom. All right. Man, I'm telling you guys. If you come to the Philippines around this time, get ready. Look at me. I'm sweating my ass off. And I live in Thailand, but this heat in the Philippines, man, it just, it hits different for sure. All right. Five stars out of five stars. Let's get out of here. Here we go, Lawson's. Let's go get some, uh, something to drink. Remove helmet, no smoking. Okay, let's go inside. See, no one's sweet and green tea. I told y'all, it's hard to find them in the Philippines. But plenty of water, so it's all good. I also got me a ham and cheese sandwich. That's gonna be my pre-training meal for tonight. And some veggies. Just come around the corner and we are back in our building. Again, the link for the Airbnb is gonna be in the description. Just in case you are interested on in staying around this area. Uh, like I said, not too many restaurants, not too many places to go eat compared to the Airbnb where I stay at the last three days. I like the room, it's very, very nice. AC works fine, nice, comfortable bed. It's kind of big five stars out of five like i said it's just location not too many things around so anyways that is it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it thank you for watching if you like what you see please subscribe like dislike do whatever you want to do until next time i am out Woo, it's hot <laughs> by the way there is a pool in this building or this compound that you can use but if you're not a resident, I was told with the people in the counter, you gotta pay 500 pesos, which is like around nine US dollars.